Ever wondered what motivated Kyrie Sane to leave WWE in 2017 after giving us an awesome performance for over three years? Just like you, we were also very disappointed to hear that she'd be leaving the WWE universe. Well, in her recent interview, Kyrie answered all our questions, and here's why she really left WWE after a pretty successful career. First up, why did Kyrie really leave? An emotional truth revealed. With her career in full swing, Kyrie was on a roll during her time in WWE, but why did she really leave? A lot of us have been asked Asking this question for a really long time. The ex WWE superstar recently did an interview for Entame Next, in which she revealed the main reason behind her departure. Kyrie also opened up about the main motivation behind her joining WWE in the first place. Settle in, folks, while we take you on an emotional journey. As she told Entame Next, she lost her best friend in 2017 due to an illness. It was actually a promise that she made to her best friend on her grave that led to Kyrie working several times harder and becoming a part of WWE. Now that's motivation. As it turns out, the promise was that the fan favorite would be participating in a WrestleMania, and as we all know, Kyrie worked with complete determination to fulfill this promise. It was because of the hard work that she was able to participate in not just one, but three WrestleManias. Apart from thrice competing in WrestleMania, she was also able to win championships in WWE and NXT. Kyrie continues to amaze us all. We wouldn't be wrong to say that she's a huge inspiration for women everywhere, a true female icon. Talking about leaving WWE, the wrestling superstar said that she never really planned to move to America permanently. In 2017, she vowed to come back grown up, and grow up she did. That's something we can vouch for. Kyrie, in her interview, also mentioned that her personal life had become secondary to her. During some self-reflection during the pandemic, the star was able to realize what she truly wanted. With a hyperactive professional life, she was bound to get tired. She revealed that sometimes she had to compete four times a week without a single break, a feat we certainly would never be able to accomplish. Kyrie also told and tamed next that the decision came after a lot of thinking and consultations. When looking at her professional standing, she was sure that her promise was fulfilled and that she could now return. We're sure her best friend was cheering for her throughout her WWE journey. If she was here today, she'd have been very proud of all that Kyrie has achieved in her career. During her last years at WWE, Kyrie went back to Japan to be closer to her husband, after which she decided against renewing her contract and staying in Japan. What a huge loss for WWE, we are certain. This wholesome story has made our hearts sore with love towards her. Don't you think it's so admirable of her to have her priorities sorted out and leave before her career started affecting her personal life? If only we could learn a thing or two from her. Next, we have Kyrie Sane in WWE. Kyrie Sane is a well-known professional wrestler, and as many of you might know, she has recently joined Wonder World Ring Stardom with the ring name Kyrie. Kyrie was a part of Stardom from 2012 to 2017. After this, she joined the WWE, where she became a top wrestler pretty quickly. While in the WWE, she won the NXT Women's Championship and the NXT Year End Award in 2018 for the Female Competitor of the Year. Wow, talk about accomplishments. And not just this, when Kyrie debuted on WWE's main roster and became the longest reigning champ of WWE Women's Tag Team, this woman kept on surprising us with her performance each time. During her last years at WWE, she returned to Japan, where she worked as a WWE trainer and ambassador, and as we know, she stayed there till her contract expired in 2021. Suspicions of her not coming back were confirmed when Kyrie changed her Instagram username to official underscore Kyrie from Kyrie underscore WWE. And now, Kyrie is back to stardom. Earlier this year, we got the news that Kyrie will be ending her 20-month-long hiatus. Yep, good news for all her fans. She announced in February 2022 that she'd be returning to World Wonder Ring stardom. Since her return, Kyrie has participated in several matches and has had her fair share of victories. Seems like she's well-rested and is ready to prove her talents to everyone. Kyrie has always been a fan favorite, but with this recently revealed heartfelt journey and the recent victories, she is back on the top. Kyrie, through her choices, has taught us that it's okay to step back from glamour if it ends up getting too much, and honestly, we are all here for it. Just like her fans, we also can't wait to see what the future has in store for Kyrie. For all WWE top fans, here are some more of the latest news items from WWE Universe. Bad Bunny will return to WWE? At least Damian Priest believes so. Many believe that Bad Bunny won't be returning to his in-ring career anytime soon, but Damian Priest disagrees. Bad Bunny is currently busy with his musical career. The former wrestler has a famous album and will be starting his world tour pretty soon, but Priest thinks that he will be returning soon. In a recent interview, he said that Bad Bunny was not one of those people who come in to promote themselves or think of it as a one-off appearance. He also mentioned that the artist invested all his energy in improving his performance, rather than looking at his time in the ring as a one-time thing. He is right about that, don't you think? Besides, we would love to see Bad Bunny return to the ring and blow us away with his performance.
performance. The artist actually put in months of training and put on an impressive performance for his fans. In WrestleMania 37, he made a pretty good team with Priest, where they championed over The Miz and John Morrison. Next, Hell in a Cell. Rhodes decided to wrestle injured. Hell in a Cell became even more hellish for Cody Rhodes when he fought his longtime rival Seth Rollins with a torn pectoral muscle. This was confirmed only a few hours before the show. When Rhodes entered the ring, the bruising on his chest was a shock to us all. His injury was targeted by Rollins throughout the match, but Rhodes was able to pull through and finished him off. A true wrestling champ. Rhodes fans will definitely be feeling his absence during these months, and we would as well. It's always a delight to watch him in the ring. Reports have confirmed that he'll be undergoing surgery soon. His target date for return is Royal Rumble in 2023. Hopefully, Rhodes will be able to recover completely and return with full enthusiasm. We wish him all the best with his recovery. So, what is John Cena's WWE future? We are all curious. Everyone was beyond excited when we heard the news of John Cena's return to WWE. Yep, that's right. The 16-time world champ is set to mark his return on the 27th of June edition of Raw. What an exciting time. And for those of you who remember, this was in fact the day when in 2002, the young star slapped Kurt Angle on SmackDown. With his return locked in, we are all very excited to know what his first step would be. It's expected that a match will take place between him and Theory. Theory has also been taking many shots at Cena on social media. The fans are eagerly waiting for both of them to sort it out in the ring. We're all waiting patiently for the announcement of a match between these two, and this would be the perfect way for John Cena to restart his career in the WWE, don't you think? And finally, Fearsome Godfather had a baby face? The Godfathers are part of the WWE Hall of Fame. As you must know, he'd adorned different personas, but one thing remained consistent, his eerie face paint. The terrifying character of Papa Shango didn't last for even two years. It was played by the Godfather and was particularly known to be ruthless, but Vince McMahon wasn't completely satisfied with the look. In the A to the K wrestling show, it was revealed that Vince allegedly said that something should be done about Godfather's face. Yikes, that's something none of us want to hear. It turns out that Vince told him to cover his face because it seemed like a baby face, and apparently it wouldn't go well with his monster body. That seems enough inspiration to hide Godfather's face with paint. Usually, we won't be saying something like this, but it makes complete sense for a wrestler. It must be hard to scare opponents with a cute face. Well, that's a wrap on this video, folks. What do you think of Kyrie Sane's decision to leave the WWE? Do you think she will rejoin them later in the future? Let us know what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one!